My name is uh, Dr. Young Choi, and I'm board certified by the American uh, Board of Surgery, and I practice at CHI St. Luke's. So gastroesophageal reflux, a lot of people suffer from gastroesophageal reflux. So, I think we all get it at one point or another. We overeat, we get heartburn. But what happens is some people really get affected by it. They can't even exercise. I had people who, when they try to exercise, the pressure that builds up in the uh, abdomen causes the uh, acid reflux and it just gets really bad. The two main surgical uh, treatments is the fundoplication, okay? Uh, well, that's where you take your fundus of the stomach and you wrap it around the esophagus. Now there are very different, various different uh, configurations. You could do the full 360 degree uh, nissen fundoplication where you bring uh, part of that fundus behind the esophagus and fundoplicate in front of the esophagus to the other portion of the stomach. There's some partial wraps you can do, but uh, overall that's been the mainstay of surgical treatment for reflux. So Lynx, it's an exciting new uh, concept for treatment of reflux. So. What it is, is it's these metallic ball bearings that are connected to each other by titanium wires. And there's different sizes. So the different sizes are linked from 13 to 17. So it's the number of beads, so you get the right size for the right patient. And what you do is you place this, using laparoscopic surgery, around the esophagus, just above the stomach. Okay? And what it does is that the metallic ball bearings will attract themselves, so they give a resistance to prevent reflux, to prevent acid from refluxing back into the esophagus. When a patient eats and they swallow, they produce enough pressure to overcome the metallic ball bearings. They separate and open up, the food goes down, and then it comes back together again to prevent the reflux. The exciting thing about the lynx is, with the fundoplication, you don't eat anything that night, and then, or maybe some liquids, and then you drink some liquids for a while, you're on a liquid diet. With the lynx, we give them a regular food right after surgery, because we need them to eat right away to open and close that device. And it's, currently not being offered in a lot of places. Uh, it's being done in specific centers and I'm very excited to bring this technology uh, to CHS St. Luke's uh, and be offering it here in the Woodlands area.